to me, that means that there's going to be another character. Yeah. I think it's Ash Greninja. I don't know. Because it would technically have to be Greninja just so that there's a reason for him. But in all honesty, as much as I said, don't yeah. smite don't spite the Smogon community, I'd love to see Zero Aurora. Okay, just so right, just yeah, yeah, I went, yeah, I don't mind that too. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Right now, Maverick is your charge up. Oh. I have to go for a grab, but it just got tech. Rock is a full blow up. Nice. There it goes. Open him up that time with the corkscrew cross. Try Ooh. to pin him up against the wall, but unfortunately crossover actually going to work in that position. Full B&B over here. And the wall splash through. So the score is almost tied, even though it technically is a bit more last. <laughs> nice. Okay. Counter attack by Maverick, open him up, put him against the wall. Oh, a little bit. Go for so many of these raw digs, and for a good chunk of them, they actually work as Dragon Ball would, though. I like the play from Maverick. Goes in, but goes out just to, you know, kind of create some, you know, new spacing. Yeah. Oh, look, look, see, look he at doesn't, that. He doesn't really want to commit to anything because, honestly, considering how Rosso actually works with Garchomp, yes. he can blow it up easily at any given moment. Oh, look at that. Insurance policy. Ooh, oh, no. no. The insurance gets blown up by Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. All that damage. You had options. Say so take one or take the other. You know, yeah. take both. You gotta pick your poison. Did Rock so actually perfect block this in time? No, he did not. He tried to go for a grab. This is bad. I will, he won't live through this though. That's fine. He's gonna do a little, a, a nice chunk of damage, but he's gonna live through it, right? Yeah. All right, but no support, even though Miss Magic is uh, trying to charge up anyway. Oh, nice. Charge forward, getting hit by the shark fin. That grab's gonna come through. Ay ay ay! Did. But Maverick is still living. He's got 15 seconds left, but he's trapped against the wall. Oh, that was a good call on there. Yeah. That was a very good call. Right up in his face, tried to counterattack that, and said yeet completely. All right. Now, but he's got Magikarp now. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Rock's but how soon will he actually use Magikarp? Very true. Rock's on the other end also has Ninetales, so they both have their, their, their support. They both have some form of interruption. Mm -hmm. But Maverick decided to hold up on it just a little bit, not looking to interrupt uh, Roxo's momentum. Now he's doing it because he gave himself space. He's still holding on to his arrows, though. That's a lot of extra chip damage, too. Okay, try to see if he's doing He was a little too slow at that point. Pocket him. Ah, there goes the Frenzy Plant. Eating up all that. Oh, Ninetales gonna keep him down. Trying to score his hands over it. Roxo was hoping to blow him up, and he did. Roxo tried to jump. He still oh gets caught. my god. He barely got clipped by that jump. Just a little sliver of shiny feather just wow. to get him back to the ground. Literally all he needed, I guess. With the no support move But he does have his burst. He can use it at any time if he really wants to. Roxo played pretty passively to make sure he actually tries to First, with all that rage he's got on hand, and to get rid of magic. Okay. Oh, gets interrupted with the eight Y. Try to delay that dive kick jump on. Nice back, nice back dash though from Maverick. Getting hit by his bird. Oh, oh, nice edge with the wall six Y. Yo, good stuff to Maverick, even in this up right now. One one. It could go either way, and honestly, Maverick's going to make sure to keep himself in this for as long as possible. Lost his hands with the Synergy Stone, though. Getting support by King Lion. Really nice counter there. Converting into a full combo. No Lost Squad, though. I get caught by the air, unfortunately. Roxo might be pushing for something that isn't existent just yet. Ooh, try to grab him after that, though. You saw that? Oh, yeah. Now, Roxo going in with the... He's got the bully tactics. Oh, and it was successful. Now Magic has to do all this outrage smash damage. But he might actually get his single Just in case he ends up losing this face Maverick popping his burst. Oh, he went oh, rushing in. Didn't uh. charge it all the way though, so get blown up with frenzy. Oh! The ball. Give me a hug. He's gonna try for it again. He's gonna try and do something. Forcing Maverick to try and push a button. Wow. And he did. 
Oh, he ran it. away, but he wasn't able to make anything of it. Ah, piercing through Roxo's counterattack right now. Magic Carp is here. Nine Tails is almost available. Maverick with that life advantage, this might do a good chunk. Here, you go, bring him down to 42. No support, though. That's going to be a problem for Roxo. A lot of chip damage. Really nice back wide over there. Making sure that he doesn't get caught by the pizza cutter. Tries with the Storm Stance conversion. 15 seconds left. Maverick has to be mindful trying to stay away. Oh my god, he might this turn this into a win! Yeah! As soon as he caught that one, Roxo knew for sure that he was going to be able to just snatch that game. Clean, just Stole it. it. Stole it. Robbing. He had his hand in the cookie jar and said, I'll take the Scooby Snacks. Thank you. Walked away. Stolen. You just say, is Whitey White complaining about hand warmers again? I think he is complaining about hand warmers again. Well, then sit on him! Freaking frick! Complaining about his freaking hands too damn cold. What the hell? The it's fact that Kmon isn't complaining as much as Whitey, that's saying something. It is best to sit on your hands. Enough about that, we're gonna go right back into the match where Maverick tried to chip out Roxo. But the Shardsman isn't gonna let him do that. Okay, get that double dab in there. Right now, Rosso just going to get in his face because that way it'll take a while for Maverick to get anything started. Try to sweep him up, but it hits both of them with. This traps Rosso against the wall, but he has a little bit more advantage than Maverick does. Wasn't trying to jump over that counter. and just do a raw dragon rush right there, but it did not come through. Nice job making sure this crossover didn't get to run that mistake. Trapping him against the wall, and even though he's backing away, giving Roxo a lot of space. Oh, getting caught by the sounds. And then Roxo with a fancy crossover, bringing it back, and there are only 10 seconds left. Maverick forced to pull out his burst. Wow, okay. He has the advantage now. He has this, yeah. this, this win. Oh, he tries Whoa. to go empty jump into burst just to taunt him out. Wow. Rock, Roxo woke. Just cut him up into pieces right there. That is crazy. Roxo definitely trying to take another catch me inside turn. Oh, yeah. He definitely have this one. But if he wants to take it, he's going to have to be mindful of going for raw dig. Maverick trying to pull his arrows. He went to grab him by this input. Oh, okay. Jumping with that dive kick. He's trying to turn into something. Oh, Whoa, wow. it did not autocorrect for him. That's unfortunate. Take all the damage. And the wall splat. That just absolutely blows an earthquake. Just gonna pop him up off the ground. Oh. Ninetale said, no, you are not going anywhere. Oh, okay. With Maverick. Yup, Maverick is knowing. He's jumping right over that. He's going over that rare grab attempt. Double smackdown. Just make sure that Rock stays up against the wall. And now he's almost caught up in points. Oh, he said, get off me! Oh, he was going to try for the tick throw. He didn't think that Rock would actually um, throw down his shield to attack. To the ground. Oh. oh. Magic Heart saving his life. But Rock putting up his shield just before Maverick threw out his burst. Whoa! Oh, no. Tried to grab him. Right Rocco now, Maverick has, has to pick and choose carefully. Oh my gosh! This is gonna go either way. Better than anyone. Game. Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Nice my God! That soaring stance. The freaking wings. The wings. The wings. That hitbox was just enough that Maverick was able to save himself. Ooh! Oh. Opening him up. Maverick being a little greedy there, trying to steal Rocco's heater. No, Magic Carp interrupting that completely. Nine Tails is gonna do the same. Wow, oh. dive! Wait a minute, what? I thought that hit. Looks like it did. Almost did. Ooh, nice backdash away. The thing is, Decidueye has enough to stay frame that even if Maverick makes a mistake, there's a very good chance to correct himself or Roger to blow him up. Moron kicks forces him back to the ground. Oh, no. oh, really good call out by Roxo, knowing yeah. that Maverick loves to counter a lot in this matchup. He does have magic, but he's a way to go collecting synergy. 
so his next moves are gonna have to be considered carefully. Look at that chip. Earthquake trying to blow him up completely. Maverick on the offensive right now. Trying to make something happen. Oh, oh but he's still in burst, so he's got that armor. Not anymore. That's a be patient here, too. Wow, Whoa. the soaring stance again, saving him just barely. Trying to use the speed of his boots to throw a burst, but Dante's not falling for it. But wow, the tables. He gets the full six wide combo. Whoa! Absolutely woke. Of all the things he could have done, grabbing a raw stone edge of all of Roxo's options. That was actually really crazy. There are no words. There really aren't any words, which is why I'm trying my best to cover for you. But we're just going to go ahead and try and get started with game three over here. I think even Roxo was a little bit surprised by that ending. That I don't think he was prepared for Maverick to actually be that risky. No, no, we, we're going to just move on into round three over here. Wow. Wow. That's all I can say. That was, that was all I could say right there. Chilling in the blue dome. Garchomp only half charged. Let's see how well he can actually manage in this kind of frontier. Okay, opening him up. Nice, nice homing attack right in there. Rasa applying all this early shield pressure right now. Not letting up. Not letting up. He's looking at that. He wants that John red until you break it. And they ain't gonna take the damage. Nah, it's either he's gonna break the shield or he's going to completely break your soul. Almost caught him with the sand to him. Okay. Roxo didn't have enough faith with that counter. Nice. Has faith with his drill. Goes to try and catch him. And the grab is gonna get blown up because of invincible Pachirisu. I think he did it a little bit too early. That was what it was. Yeah, he did. He, he had grabbed him before in that same situation. Any scenario where Pachirisu is actually thrown out seconds after something he able to move, odds are they're going to be safe from it and they can blow it up. Mm, that punish. That was good. And now Miss Nature's is out of commission, which is something that Roxo really needs to help enhance a little bit more pressure. Go good burst to back him off a little bit. Oh, wait. I don't know if he he's out of range. Be, is he safe? Yes, he oh, is. Oh, he tried to dive kick him. And he almost got the successful blow up, too. Nice grab. He's trying to get this damage and the wall splat. He's going to bring him down to 98. Roxo has the life lead and the insurance policy, Miss Magius. Maverick has to really be mindful, staying away. Wow, Frenzy Plan! That is bold, but then he ends up throwing it away. Oh, nice Frenzy Plan. Again, the Pachi Risu actually saving lives a lot more than expected. Yeah, put, he, Pachi Risu definitely yeah. trying to help out a little bit, for sure. I mean, Pachi only takes away projectiles, but it seems like Pachi's doing a lot more than just that. He was really good in World, so now they decided to give him a chance in Pokemon. Yeah, and seriously. Now he's just really wrecking train. The moral support right now is, is out of control right here. Maverick trying to go for the steady chip damage. Any little bits and pieces he could possibly muster, and it looks like he's already got the edge on Roxo, who's just not prepared for all of these projectiles. Ooh, tries to go underground. Gets a little close, but backs up away. No way in and out, no burgers. Here it is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot. But Maverick is still in phase. Yep. Roxo's going to try and intimidate him. He has to sit and hold off for Miss Magius. Oh, Maverick said that the skies are fine. Backing away ever so slowly. And now he also has magic card to put into play as well. If Roxo decides to throw it out, just escape it to get caught by shiny feather. Yeah. That's unfortunate. It's gonna hurt. This is definitely gonna hurt if not kill. Roxo still has a good chunk of burst left. And if he's able to actually bring himself in closer to intimidate Maverick, that might be the leverage that he needs. If nothing else, yeah, he's just going for chip damage. But this is a problem because... Oh, he let go! He let go because he was trying to use his ghastly features. Oh, oh man! Death. No! Roxo ended up just having himself get completely destroyed. Yo! Oh, this is really rough. Again, Dig using Dig Yo. all the way through and just gets completely wrecked for it. My man was completely committed. He put a ring on that John. He said his vows. He said I do. But he didn't think things through.
He didn't spend more than a couple of months with the person. Bars! that was okay. But you bought bars! I'm just saying. Wait, you, but you trying to audition for the Uchi no, Games mixtape? Facts. 